Towing an RV with a truck can be a dream come true. Today we're diving into the tow capacities of the vehicles and the weights of the trailer so that you can have the best experience possible when you're towing. Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Growing popularity of RVs has put a demand on the pickup truck market to have increased capacities because the trailers are getting longer, taller, wider, more slide rooms, heavier, all of these variables that can give you a great experience or a bad experience. So we really wanna look at what that is today. We'll be analyzing popular truck models and their towing capabilities today, matching that up with the potential travel trailer that you may be purchasing in the near future. I'm a believer in this. Purchase the travel trailer first, start looking at that, and then match that up with the tow vehicle. You don't wanna do it in the opposite because that can put you in a bind or possibly you may have to trade that truck and to tow that travel trailer that you fell in love with. We will be discussing real world scenarios and the challenges that you may have towing a travel trailer behind your pickup truck. Decoding the towing capacity of a pickup truck is a large challenge. There are so many different things, so many variables that fall into play. The engine size. Is it a two-wheel drive pickup? Is it a four-wheel drive pickup? Is it a crew cab, a cab and a half, a long bed, a short bed? The gear ratio of that pickup truck. It's a challenge just to figure out what the capacity of that truck is. As sometimes you see ads on the evening news and that manufacturer, that pickup advertises a large tow capacity of 13 or 14,000 pounds, most generally that's not the case. Those are not the pickup trucks that they supply on the lots of these pickup dealerships. The important things to know is what the GVWR of the trailer is. I'm a travel trailer owner myself. My wife and I are avid RVers and we know what our limits are when we go camping and that is in correlation with the tow vehicle pulling our travel trailer so the gvwr is important to know that number but more importantly is the tow capacity of that vehicle whatever it is we at blue ox believe that 80 percent of the tow capacity is where you need to stop so an easy way to talk about this is I always reference 10,000 pounds of GVWR on the trailer. 80% of that is 8,000 pounds. That's the largest trailer that I am going to tow loaded is going to be 8,000 pounds. Not dry, but loaded. That's going to give us the best experience. But the other things that we need to look at is payload. And then we need to look at what the gross combined vehicle weight rating is with that pickup truck because you don't want to exceed that. What's going to happen if you exceed it? Longer distance in, in braking situations. You chance warping the frame of the tow vehicle, causing damage to the, the receiver hitch because most generally it is going to be overloaded in that situation. So we need to look at all these different scenarios. Make sure that you're matching up your tow vehicle with your trailer and that you stay at that 80% capacity or less, that's gonna give you the best experience as you're out there on the road. Weight distribution is going to be crucial here. Without weight distribution, you're putting a large amount of weight onto the receiver hitch on the back of that pickup truck. That receiver hitch is gonna have two ratings on it. It's going to have a rating without weight distribution and a rating with. I'm a believer that no matter if it's a half ton, three quarter ton, one ton pickup truck, you need weight distribution. It's important to transfer that weight, but more importantly is that sway piece. We want to prevent that sway from happening as you travel down the road. And you can do that with both of our Blue Ox hitch lines with the Track Pro and Sway Pro. So weight distribution, matching that up with the GVWR of the trailer and the vehicle that you're working with. 
There are many different types of RVs uh, out on the road. We have travel trailers, we have fifth wheels, class A motorhomes, class B, we have super C's, C's. So there's a lot of different RVs that are out in the industry. However, travel trailers are gonna be your number one sold product across the line year in and year out. So loading your travel trailer, having weights and balances is a really important piece. And I remember days of the past where consumers put everything in their front storage compartment on their travel trailer, including cast iron skillets to all of this additional weight that falls right onto the hitch weight. But more importantly is something that's never looked at is from the center of the rear axle of that tow vehicle to the tailgate, if it's a large SUV, if it's a pickup truck, all of that weight is going to sit right on top of that hitch, which is gonna put more stress on that hitch. I had a situation happen, a real quick story, a customer uh, uh, of ours had a Vino's toy hauler and to he came and saw me at a rally, told me he couldn't tow it down the road. So I went to investigate. He had our largest hitch in our 2000 pound Sway Pro. He had a one ton single axle, F-350 pickup truck, I went over and started looking at things and I got my tongue scale out of my toolbox. And I weighed the tongue on this trailer. And at that point, his tongue weight was over 2,000 pounds just on the travel trailer. This had nothing to do with the pickup. So we, we fixed that, weights and balances, we moved some things around. But then I started looking at his pickup truck and I asked him a question you have a lot of weight back there? He goes, oh, just a toolbox inside the tailgate. We popped his tailgate. He had a snap-on toolbox, the width of the bed, to the bottom of the tonneau cover, and 26 inches deep, fully loaded with tools. So all of this was affecting the experience that this consumer had. He was overweight for what that hitch's capabilities were. So I tell you this because it's really important to know, if you're going to put something in the bed of your pickup truck when you're towing your travel trailer, move it to the front of the bed. Don't let it ride over that receiver hitch because that just adds weight to that combination and it's gonna put a lot of stress on that hitch. You may be on the bubble of your hitch size and may need to go up in hitch size. Exceeding tow capacity limits with your tow vehicle is no joke. It can cause a lot of long-term ill effects on that tow vehicle and the trailer that you're towing. It can, it can damage differentials, it can warp the frame, it can prematurely wear the tires out on the tow vehicle and also on that travel trailer. So make sure that you're meeting the needs of what the weight of that travel trailer is by staying at that 80% of your tow capacity. I know that everybody wants to go bigger and better, however, that's not always the best case in this scenario. Choosing the right truck for your RV is super important. You want to be under that tow capacity of that vehicle for longevity, ease of towing. What's the intended use of that RV? Where do you plan to go with it? Are you traveling through the mountains? Are you just flat landing it? Are you just going to a campground locally? These are all important things to know when you're making that decision to purchase that RV and also purchase that tow vehicle. We can explore many of the tow vehicles that are out in the market space. Everybody has their love for a GM or a Ford or a Ram pickup truck or a Toyota, whatever that may be. That is your choice based on your experience in life. Just make sure that you do the homework and that you don't purchase something that you're gonna be struggling towing that travel trailer down the road. So I am a believer in Go start that process or that search on that travel trailer so that you know what you're going to have to need for that tow vehicle. Proper braking is no joke here, folks. Uh, having a brake control in your tow vehicle to control the electric brakes on a travel trailer uh, or a fifth wheel, whichever it may be, is, is absolutely crucial. And knowing how to set that brake control up is just as important. Um, and that's a trial and error situation. Your dealers, your RV dealers, auto dealers, they can teach you 
those methods that you need to know because you're going to start at a lower number on your brake control as you're driving at lower speeds but as you gain higher speeds traveling down the road that gain needs to be raised in that brake control to get an active brake you don't want to be in a situation where you hit the brakes on your tow vehicle or your pickup truck and it's taken you one and a half times to two times the distance to get that combination slowed down. So educate yourself on that brake control. There's so many different varieties out there. Most of the pickups built today come with an integrated brake control if they have the tow package built in. So learn about it, know it, make sure it's set correctly and use it. Safely towing your travel trailer down the road is our goal. And that means having the proper weight distribution hitch installed, meeting the requirements of what that GVWR is of the trailer, what the tow capacity is of that tow vehicle. There's some variables there, so make sure you're, you're spending the time doing the research. You can go on to Google, pull up a year, make a model of a pickup, and as long as you know what engine transmission and gear ratio is in it, it will spit out the number for you what that tow capacity is. These are all important things to know getting into the RV industry. It is the funnest thing in the whole world. I have met some of my best friends in this world due to being an RVer. And there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. Towing an RV with a truck can be a dream come true. However, sorry. 